Grazie, Presidente. Minister, colleagues, as some have said before, Dayton was good to end the war, but it was not good to make a sustainable peace. So like now I would like, 20 years after the signature of the Dayton Peace Agreement, I think it's time to evaluate the agreement and also all the 12 annexes and the level of implementation and to make a plan on how to proceed with each and every one of the 12 annexes. Let me specify one of them, Annex Number 7, and I'm glad it made it in our common resolution in Article 3, which ensures the safe and sustainable return of internally displaced persons. Now, we welcome the process achieved, but we all know that there are still around 84,000 internally displaced persons in Bosnia, in a country with 3.8 million inhabitants. This still is a lot. So, I'm also glad to mention some other part, that in paragraph 3, we also mention different degrees of vulnerability when it comes to the displaced persons and other victims of the war. 20 years after Dayton, it is high time to make an extra effort and to address the tens of thousands war-related victims of sexual violence in Bosnia. We all know that one structural element in the war in Bosnia, like in all other wars worldwide, was rape widespread sexual violence aiming at hitting hard at the respective enemy, seen by raping the enemy's women. So these women have not received yet proper attention and also appropriate social economic support and health assistance. I think 20 years after Dayton, it's high time to do this, to make reconciliation work, also for the victims of war rape, which have too long been silenced. Thank you.